Okay, good morning or good afternoon or wherever you are. Um, I'm a videographer and uh, I keep avoiding making videos for YouTube because I always think, oh, I've got to make this brilliant video and show how good I am. So this is none of that because <laughs> I don't have time, but this might be helpful to you guys. Um, I've been looking at trying to speed up you know, my MacBook or get a new MacBook Pro because I do a lot of um, DaVinci Resolve. I do a lot of Final Cut Pro. And what I mainly do is shoot in 6K and I'm also trying to get rid of a lot of noise. Um, so I use a lot of denoiser. Neat Video is a good denoiser and I also use one in DaVinci. So a lot of horsepower. My 2016 MacBook right here um, handles 4K really well, 6K not so well. Um, so again, trying to swallow $4,300 on a new laptop, which I did purchase over there in the corner. Um, but. Uh, Basically, long story short, and I'll post some results, is I, put, I got the Vega 20 laptop. Um, it's all spec'd out with 32 gigs of RAM. And I got a Vega Pro um, 56. And I thought, I'll see how that runs on its own. See how it runs with this plugged into it, because no one's done that test. Um, and it does help in some areas. And then I got, and I thought, why not get two Vega Pros? First rule in government spending. Why build one when you can have two at twice the price? Uh, long story short, the Vega 20 laptop is extremely quick. Um, it doubles a lot of things, the speed that this one. Um, the Final Cut's just not ready. The export timeline doesn't work. I mean, the only thing that really works is scrub is playback in the timeline is faster, and um, uh, playback in the timeline and um, optical f no stabilization stabilization is quicker. But other everything else seems to be CPU intensive, and it just doesn't really. It's not really worth it in some ways. Um, even neat video within Final Cut still took forever. The only, so then that made me flip over to DaVinci and I guess I have to learn DaVinci because Final Cut just does not have, I don't know what's wrong with Apple, but they just don't seem to dedicate enough resources the way DaVinci does. And, <coughs> and DaVinci's not the nice friendly user interface that Final Cut is, but you know what? It absolutely looks for every GPU, CPU that you have plugged in and lets you select them and say, I will put everything you have to work. And it does. <laughs> Um, so noise control on this machine in neat video in Final Cut takes 17 minutes for like a 10 second clip. It's, un it's painful. Noise control with the two GPUs plugged in takes about, I think, four minutes or something. I'll put the results up for you. Uh, noise control in DaVinci with these two GPUs takes one minute and 20 seconds. So we're going from 17 minutes to one minute and 20 seconds. You know, it's just Apple needs to get it together. Anyway, long story short, the laptop's really quick. The new Vega 20 is very quick. Um, uh, it's 4,300 bucks. And you know, you hate to take a perfectly good laptop that's an i7, it's no slouch. And you know, I'm gonna set this down. You know, what's the toss up? Here it's $2,400 and I'm beating that thing um, by quite a safe margin. Um, and I'm only spending $2,400. So this is the dual, dual 5Ks, and these are set up and hooked to each one, and the laptop runs really well, really fast, and I'll post the results, but I thought no one's done a dual setup like this, um, and no one's, post, no one's uh, reviewed the Vega 20 with the GPU, so I just wanted to post those results for you guys. Hopefully that's helpful. I've got lots of other things I'd love to talk about. I'm starting to get into vintage lenses, Unbelievable. In fact, that's the only way I can afford this stuff is I just sold all my L series lenses. That's another video. So if you guys are interested in videos that I don't have time to make look really nice, but they might be helpful to you guys, just give us your comments, any suggestions, questions. I'll be happy to answer them for you and uh, stay safe, be well. Let me take a ride.